Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can get a value from input box. So we will get uh, input box value in two way: one on button click, and second one on change event. Right? So on change event simply means whenever uh, we will just type something, we will display a value on real time. Right? So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will create an input field. Then we will make a function and get value from this input input field, and we will display it on a screen, right? And uh, after that, we will just make a button and a state also. And uh, whenever we will click on a button, then we will get the value from input box, right? And I will just provide you the answer of uh, my previous question, which is I asked in last video. And again, I will ask a one more question. And if you want to answer or attempt it. then you can attempt it on a comment box so now let's get started so this is my output screen and uh, this is my app.js and here you can see that my whole files of my project right or application so now first of all let's create a input field and uh, just simply type here its type so let's say its type is text so we don't need anything else rather than it so it can you can see that we are able to just get it here and uh, now let's uh, just get a console here so first of all i will just display this text whenever i will just type something here we will get it on this h1 tag uh, h1 tag right so whatever i'm just going to do i'm just going to make a event here on change and on change we will call a function like get data right and let's define this function here function get data and uh, it will uh, have a parameter and here you can just simply put here console dot one or console dot log whatever you want so whenever you will just uh, put here a uh, well then you will see that a complete dom will be printed here right if you just want to check then you can check here right so whenever i will just type something we will just get the complete term right so after that you can just simply put here a target so whenever you will just put a target here then you will get this complete text box here in a console so let's say i'm just going to type my name like anil then you can see that we got a complete text box again and again right on any on all on change events right so again if you just want to get a value then we must have to use here a value and now you will find a correct value here so just simply put here and let's see to and now you can see that on every key change we are getting uh, our name right so now let's take a state here for that let's use a react or uh, you can just import it from now uh, if you just just let me just correct correct this spelling react right and uh, let's import a use state use state i don't know what's actually happen now that's fine actually forget to put here a comma right now let's uh, use this uh, use state take a const like uh, data comma set data right and just use here use state and by default value let's say null that means nothing right and here just set data and uh, here we can just simply use here get well dot target dot value right or even you can put here event many guys actually use here event right so if you just want to use event then just replace this value with the event right and now just simply use your state right data so this is the state 
which is be imported from here and if you just want to update it then we can use a set state method so set state method will set a value inside this state and you will just get the uh, displayed value here so let me just put something here now you can see that we are just getting this data right all right that's great so that's a uh, pretty simple but what i want to now on a button click i just want to print this value right so that first of all we need at least a button and just right here print value or display value whatever text you want to put here right and just simply put here on click and on click i need a one more state here right so for that first of all i need a arrow function and let's define a state here so just put here uh, print or just set print right and uh, by default value will be false like this and now on this uh, button click we will just set this value true right and after that just replace this h1 tag like this um, if print is true then we will just uh, get this uh, h1 tag else otherwise we will get uh, nothing right so just simply put here a uh, hello but we are not going to just display here whenever we will just click on our state will be true and you can just set this value right but now this is actually again happening the same on a on chain right so that you can do one more thing let's uh, set print false right on a uh, set data right so whenever just uh, refresh it for a moment whenever uh, we will just type something we will just uh, get this value and again if again someone just want to type again then this value will be hidden right on a click on a button we will just get this value again so this is all about that how we can just display a value on a button click and all in the next video we will get some more values from complete form field like uh, let's say we have a radio button selection box a complete list or a check boxes so that how we can just get the all value of these fields so we will just check in the next video so it's time of my previous interview questions answer i asked that how we can uh, just pass a html with the props right or nested elements with the component for that you just need to uh, use a prop name which is prop dot children right so i will just make a separate video another time if we'll just get here but uh, this is the answer that for just uh, get the nested html we can just simply use this dot props dot children right so and in the question for this video is all right so how we just get a value from text box we just get to know that that's great but how we can get a value from checkbox or radio button you just answer me in a comment box if you don't want to answer that that's okay but please read about this so that's all for this video bye bye take care and please don't forget to subscribe my channel